This is the Secretary of Homeland Security, Jay Johnson. Since the Syrian civil war began, more than four million people have fled that country, leaving their entire lives behind them. And the stories we've heard have been heartbreaking. Remember the tragic stories of children who drowned attempting to reach Europe with their families. That's why, once it was concluded that we can do it safely and responsibly, the president announced a plan to resettle at least 10,000 Syrian refugees in the United States within the next year. In the days since the Paris attack, many have tried to argue that accepting Syrian refugees, who, by the way, are mostly women, children, and families, means that we'd make America a more dangerous place. This ignores the reality that anyone who seeks and is approved for refugee status in the United States must first go through a rigorous security screening process. So let's walk through that process and what it looks like for a potential refugee. Meet Rima. Rima and her children have lost their home in Syria. They've made the dangerous journey out of the country and now Rima is seeking refugee status in a place where she can keep her children safe. First, Rima must apply for refugee status through the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. This is the international organization in charge of protecting and assisting refugees. For Rima to be considered a refugee, she must show that she's been driven from her home due to a, quote, well-founded fear of being persecuted for reasons of race, religion, nationality, membership in a particular social group or political opinion, end quote. If Rima meets the above conditions, she may be referred for resettlement in a country such as the United States. But before she can enter the United States as a refugee, Rima must then undergo a security screening process that is more thorough than any other for people entering this country. She'll have a deep background check. Her biographic and biometric information will be cross-checked against law enforcement and intelligence databases. Rima will also have to pass an in-depth interview including an interview with a specially trained DHS officer to determine her eligibility. If found eligible, she then receives a medical evaluation. From start to finish, this process includes the involvement of the National Counterterrorism Center, the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of State, and the Department of Defense. All refugees, including Syrians, go through these security screening measures, and Syrians receive an enhanced review during this process. Over 23,000 Syrian refugee applicants have been referred to us by the UNHCR. Only about 2,000 have been admitted. Throughout history, we've seen that America has become a better nation by welcoming refugees in times of crisis. So many refugees and their children have gone on to make great contributions to our American society. Albert Einstein and Ilya Wiesel, two Jews displaced by Nazi Germany, went on to become great Americans. We've seen great athletes such as Nadia Kolmanice and Luol Deng flee communism and the Sudanese Civil War respectively. Taking in refugees at a time of crisis is simply the right thing to do. We can and we will continue to ensure our own security while doing our share to welcome men, women and children who are refugees fleeing violence. This is the United States of America. We can, we must, and we will do both these things.